The community is a buzz with folks brushing up against legendary actors and actresses like Robert Duvall, Sissy Spacek, Bill Murray, Lucas Black, and those folks are in Paulding during the final days of filming for the movie Get Low. The movie seeks to provide context to the story of Uncle Felix Bush Brazil, a Tennessee-centric who wanted to attend his own funeral and made national news in 1937 by inviting folks to attend that funeral while he was still alive. Those willing to address in 1930s costumes and help recreate that eccentric funeral are invited to attend what promises to be a wake you won't forget. That fake funeral was attended by as many as 10,000 folks, and the extra cost Wednesday morning hopes to recreate that scene with from 500 to 1,000. We talked with Dean Zanuck, Get Low's producer, Thursday. Here's that interview. Uh, Get Low, and you're asking some folks to come out and play. Absolutely. We're going to have a big party here on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. It's going to be a chance for, for uh, everybody in this area to come spend some time with Robert Duvall and Sissy Spacek, Lucas Black, Bill Murray. Great chance to get on film. You know, we're going to have a Grammy-nominated bluegrass band out here called the Steel Drivers. Yeah, what, what, what's the stick? Are we out here to, to uh, celebrate somebody's funeral or something? Absolutely. The story is about a man who has a funeral while he's still alive and 10,000 people show up, showed up. I mean, this actually took place in Tennessee in the 30s, but we're recreating it here in Georgia in yeah, 2009. You, you've done uh, other 30, 30s period movies. I guess uh, Road to Perdition was one. Road to Perdition, absolutely. Yeah, we shot that all in, in Chicago. Um, and outside of Chicago, but I, I've, got a, I've got a thing for period films. What, uh, what do you think of uh, the period film uh, in Georgia, I guess? Uh, are we a good set for it? This is going to be, a, this is gonna be a, uh, a really important film. It's a special cast, uh, special screenplay, lots of uh, top individuals in front of and behind the camera. And, and uh, you know, this one will be one that you remember. Yeah, the uh, you know you, you when you think of Robert Duvall these days, you know you think in terms of um, old secondhand lines, things like that. Where he's a little bit quirky, I guess. Does he come across that way? This uh, he he uh, he plays a you know a, a, a very mysterious character. He's he's a man who's um, had everything in his life going for him in the late 1800s, and uh, you know one night, one fateful night, kind of changed that course and. He's now been living in the woods for the past 40, 50 years, and his time is coming to an end. And um, you know, he wants to throw this this party. You know, so everybody that's got a story to tell about him and his checkered past will show up. But it's really a a chance for him to to clear the air and tell the real story of what took place so long ago that that changed his life and 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 others. Okay, I, uh, so it's a deep film in in a lot of ways. Uh, uh, that's interesting. I, it's, a, it's a real human drama, you know, about reconciliation and 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 forgiveness. Um, it, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be quite good. It looks like it moved you just uh, well, hell, it moved you to, to to produce the damn thing, I guess. Yeah, no, it's, it's it's been a journey for me. I've been working on it for about seven, eight years, and and finally all the the right pieces. Come well, uh, let me let me let me uh, have you extend an invitation to uh, all the people on Pecom and Paulding County to come on out. Uh, make sure they're dressed in period clothes and uh, and come play. I guess. Absolutely. So first things first, we we uh, we want everybody out in this neck of the woods to to come have a blast with us and on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday out here at Pickett's Mill State Park. You know, we're going to be uh, raffling off prizes. We're going to have great music, food, dancing, wonderful opportunity to spend some to spend some time uh, with this this great film crew and these wonderful, legendary actors. Uh, all sorts of fun things. They're, they're actually going to get to see these folks. Oh yeah, they'll oh. be. They'll, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Bill Murray walked up to one of them, and gave him a massage. <laughs> well, it sounds like a great time. I'm gonna try to do it. I mean, 5:30 in the morning is awful early for me, but uh, I know that's the film business. Yeah, and you've, I'm sure you've got it. It's getlowextras.com is is the website that uh, lays out you know what to wear, what not to wear, where to be, what to expect. Good and deal. And it, it, 
uh, I take it you're real proud of where y'all are. You're, you're about to wrap up the filming on this. We're uh, we're just a little over a week away, and and uh, then we'll be back back to Los Angeles and putting this thing together for a release later this year. Okay, so it could be as early as uh, October, or uh, probably it would be a November, December. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, congratulations on the movie. Uh, uh, I hope the Southern hospitality here in Paulding County has uh, met your expectations. It's been wonderful. Thank you. Extras costumed by the production company will arrive at 3.30 and 4.30 a.m. And those who just want to attend are asked to arrive at 5.30 a.m. For Paulding.com, I'm G. Patton Hughes reporting.